In this video, I'm going to tell you guys how I got Sky Does Minecraft, aka Net Nobody, to become friends with Carl Jacobs from Mr. Beast's gang, all because of a single grilled cheese. But first, I need to tell you guys how it all went down and give a little bit of a backstory. So please, make sure you watch all the way to the end so you know what happens. Thanks, guys. Mr. Beast is one of the most influential people in a sphere of influential people. This man has become a household name reaching far past just the YouTube community and into the graces of the mainstream where, we hope, he continues to be as positive and kind as he has been in his decade or so career via YouTube. This man has literally given away millions of dollars in cash and prizes to animals and humans all over the country. Stepping into a new challenger field has never been an issue for Mr. Beast. He's created a vast amounts of new and engaging content, basically changing the way the YouTube algorithm rewards creators. Mr. Beast has given so many smaller creators an opportunity to be successful, as you can see with the careers of Carl Jacobs, Jake the Viking, Chandler Harlow, and Chris Tyson. So when Mr. Beast randomly tweeted on December 19th, 2020, I knew I had to call my friends up and get it ordered. The first thing I did was call my good friend Net Nobody and the rest of the Dot Wave boys. We obviously wanted to film the restaurant and maybe talk to the staff, just cause I mean, let's be honest here, we wanted the juicy views. To my shock, I found out that no, we couldn't go into the restaurant. Apparently, Mr. Beast's Burger shares a kitchen with other restaurants, and for that reason, they only offer delivery where I live. I knew that they wouldn't be able to come to the Dot Wave house, since we live on top of a mountain in the middle of nowhere. So we went to Adam's house in an attempt to have the food ordered there. After again putting in the zip code, we were shocked. We would not have been able to order the burgers to Adam's house, since he still lived too far away from the delivery area. I was doomed. No Mr. Beast Burger. Nothing. All of a sudden, I remembered. My friend Jordan Callahan had told me the day before that he was making a YouTube channel, and he lives near the area that the Beast Burger is located. He would be willing to let us use his house so long as we let him partake in all of those tasty views. So I called him up and told him that me and my cohort of degenerates would need a place to devour food while having cameras shoved in our faces. He politely agreed, and this is where we begin now. Oh, it smells great. We got two hefty bags. Chunker. Maybe there's money in here. Okay. All right, we got nice, nice packaging. It's got the stickers on it. Did we only get one order of Mr. Beast fries? Damn, Mr. Beast, you fucked us over. Oh yeah, where are all the fries? It, wasn't it a combo? Wait, we didn't get our Mr. Beast fries? No, we didn't get the fries. We still love you, and we tipped very well. We'll forgive the lack of fries if you put us in your next creator event video. I believe so. Spicy chicken! Spicy chicken! I hope it's not too spicy. I can barely handle Sprite. Did you get the Beast Burger, Jordan? Chris got the Beast Burger, and then we got a Chris style, and we got a chicken burger, and we got a grilled cheese. So look at that. You smell it? This is the spicy chicken? I'm breaking my diet for you. I hope you know that. Anything for Mr. Beast, right? Chick-fil-A. Mmm, I feel a little zesty. What do you think, Dom? You got the same thing, huh? Right, pretty good. You know my man's Popeye, bro. And I'm, and I'm pop my bad, bro. I'm just keeping it up. I fuck with the burger. No, that was actually pretty it's good. Not that burger. It, it feels like some pretty stone motherfucker. I love how you did that. How you managed to do that? You just fucked up your whole burger. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> Only Andrew. I'm really sad about the fries. But oh. Mr. Beast, don't refund it. You have given away so yeah, much. Refund that shit. <laughs> You've done so much. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Just put us on your one of your videos, okay? So I'm struggling. There we go. Oh, that's a wild. So like, you thank you for providing jobs fries? during a pandemic, Mr. Beast. I don't like pickles. <laughs> you can feed me a pickle. <laughs> it smells just like Carl. The accuracy is prime. Carl's grilled cheese. I'm a vegetarian. Did you know that? Mr. Beast actually sent this in the mail. Ooh, 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 you see this crisp right here? This crisp looks a little bit like missing fries in the order. Yeah, I waited like two hours to eat this. I just genuinely left it on the counter for like two hours. That burger's done like 70 miles. It smells traveled. <laughs> Does it taste like Carl? Good. It's like Elmer's glue. Pac-Man. Waka waka waka. I'm going in with the in-depth analysis here. Give Carl his own restaurant. Just Carl's grilled cheese. Just a bunch of different types of grilled cheese that Carl likes. The logo is just gonna be Carl doing this. <laughs> Do we live in a simulation? I'm eating Carl's grilled cheese. 
Now what does Pig think? Pig? <laughs> Carl, you need to threaten Jimmy. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta threaten Jimmy so that you can get your own grilled cheese. Hey Carl, next time you're in Seattle, you should come out and make a grilled cheese together. You can start production on, on the menu. I'm, I'm totally <laughs> fucking serious, that's not a joke. This, you got something here. Presses, so every single time there's just a picture of, of Carl's Carl, face. Yeah. <laughs> every grilled cheese. And you just, you just slowly feel like you're eating Carl. Alright. How's Carl taste? <laughs> Yo, we should fucking eat Carl! <laughs> That's fire. This is good. This is good. Carlos grilled cheese. That's really good. That is craft cheese, though, huh? It is craft cheese. Ha <laughs> ha Henry's piss. He's so clapping up my knee. Henry, what do you think? Mr. Reese Fries. If Henry, Henry eats it. If Henry it's eats least, it, it's at least a seven. Yeah. All right. He's he's a picky guy. If he eats it all, cleans it up, yep. Okay. Oh, okay, he's oh. looking for more, yeah. Yeah, that's an eight, that's an yeah, eight. Yeah, it's an that's eight, sure. okay. Now, while at Adam's, we took a photo, which is pretty normal for us because, you know, we're, we're best bros. We're, we're best friends, right? Apparently, that photo got put on Twitter, and to my surprise, Carl Jacobs commented on the photo. Now, I was having a bit of a fangirl moment because I am a fan of Mr. Beast and Carl Jacobs and the whole gang, but I couldn't let it get to me until I saw that Adam, my best mate, was messaging Carl Jacobs, which, by association, makes me and Carl Jacobs best mates. So... When Carl Jacobs sees this, I just want you to know, hey there, Carl, nice to meet ya, and I'm glad that we can be best friends. I need to get your phone number, and you should add me on Discord. Go ahead and, and just shoot me your information. Uh, you, you can reply to this channel uh, after, you, after you maybe subscribe, because now that we're friends. But, but anyway, anyway, Carl, thank you so much. Adam, I appreciate you as always, and thank you so much to everybody. And I, I hope that clears up uh, uh, the story about how I got Adam, Sky Does Minecraft, to become friends with Carl Jacobs, and how that was completely all of me, and had nothing to do with the fact that Adam was already an incredibly popular Minecraft YouTuber who... Carl grew up watching. No, no, no. It, it, it must have nothing to do with that. It, it was it was completely because of me.